Welcome to the third workshop in the Taylor Memorial Library Spring 2021 Spotlight on Databases series. We're focusing these bite-sized workshops on one of our newest databases, Hein Online, to introduce you to its varied and plentiful content. Our two previous workshops have concentrated on the COVID-19 Pandemics Past and Present Database and the Civil Rights and Social Justice Database and they provided a good introduction to an overview of sources. Today, I will be speaking about the database Women and the Law, a collection that brings together books, biographies, and periodicals to provide a convenient platform for users to research the progression of women's roles and rights in society over the past 200 years. Let's get started. On the library website, libguides.centenaryuniversity.edu, Simply click on search on the gray ribbon at the top of the page and choose databases. Our database page has an alphabetical listing of all our databases. When we click on H and scroll down to Hein Online, there's a short compact description of what the database contains. You will see here that Hein Online contains more than 178 million pages and 270,000 titles of historical and government documents in a fully searchable image-based format. It contains law-related periodicals, academic journals, congressional and federal documents, information on U.S. presidents, and much more. After clicking on the database name, we come to the landing page of the Hein Online database, where you have full access to all the content Hein has to offer. We're looking specifically for women and the law, and you can see it's listed in the right column, a second from the bottom. After clicking on the title, a listing of contents in the database appears, which is also viewable on the Women and the Law landing page on our next slide. Here you can see what content is available in the collection in the boxes at the top of the page. You are able to choose to view all titles, a list of everything in the database, or choose to view titles by specific topics, such as famous women, women in society, women in education, or by type of resource, periodicals, Supreme Court briefs, scholarly articles, etc. This is a great way to see the scope of content available in Women in the Law. You might be wondering why the database has the alternate name Peggy in parenthesis after its name. Kevin Marmion, the company president, explains this in the message below the content boxes. Both the founder of Hein Online, Bill Hein, and the president of the company, Mr. Marmion, pay tribute to their moms. Both women were dedicated to their families and were supporters of women's contributions to society. The collection is dedicated to both mothers, Eileen Hein and Margaret Marmion, and is subtitled Peggy in honor of Mr. Marmion's mother's nickname. Take a look now at the circled heading at the top of the page labeled LibGuide, which is a document that gives an overview of this wonderful collection and suggestions on how to use it. We'll take a look at the LibGuide on the next slide. You can see the contents of the guide are accessible in the column on the left side of the LibGuide page. The first listed, the overview, is visible in the center of this page and it is a reprise of what was discussed on the previous page. Tips on searching are next, and you can see there are suggestions for searching specifically for scholarly articles using extensive searching tools. Here, users can see they can sort articles by title, author, most cited, year, newest first, and year, oldest first. The scholarly journals box is highlighted in red, as is the sort by box to make it convenient to see. Further down on the page is an example of searching by author. The example used here is Ruth Bader Ginsburg. If you are looking for the article Sex Equality and the Constitution by Justice Ginsburg, simply enter her name into the search bar and choose author from the drop down menu. Results include all articles written by Ruth Bader Ginsburg, including the article searched for. Note of the citation how the database alerts the researcher that Justice Ginsburg has been cited 3,042 times in this collection. Notice further on the right side the options to download or email the document, as well as links to the 87 articles and two cases which have cited the work. 
Hein Online makes it so easy to find additional references. Next in our travels, we'll look at the Hein Online blog to see how the collections bloggers have used this database to research and write about women's rights and their role in society, both in the past and present. Here are some fascinating articles here. The 12 female firsts from American History for Women's History Month. 10 things you didn't know about the first lady of the world, of course, Eleanor Roosevelt, and ways to research the women's suffrage centennial. There's quite a bit of content in each of these blog posts, both for research and enjoyment. As you can see in the latest blog post, pictures alone are amazing, so it's definitely worth a look at these entries. The help resources are quite good in the Hein online databases. On this page, you can see general help resources for using the database. Generally asked questions are provided on this display page, as well as a link to the knowledge base, which has helpful articles, guides, and videos. Take a look at all the support documents the company provides to assist you with useful searching techniques, not only for women and the law, but for all the databases which Hein Online offers. This help page also provides a link to the My Hein User's Guide, which shows how to set up a personal Hein Online account. This account allows users to save searches, bookmark documents, manage search history, and more. It's a great way to keep all your Hein Online research in one place. What is particularly nice about the help which Hein Online provides is the designation of a support specialist who users may contact directly. Lauren Mariuso is the collection specialist, and users can reach her directly by clicking the email support box. This allows researchers another way to get answers to their questions easily. Finally, the last page of the Women in the Law Live Guide is entitled Contribute. The Hein Company is continually adding new material to this collection and encourages librarians to suggest content especially if they have access to subject-specific books. If any of our users have recommendations to add to the database, please let us know. The librarians are happy to contribute by forwarding suggestions. This has been a brief look at Women and the Law, the Peggy Collection. When you have more time, please take a more in-depth look into the marvelous resources available in this great collection. And as always, we encourage all users to contact us with any questions. Chat with us, email us, phone us, visit the library, submit an Ask a Librarian form, or make a research appointment with a reference librarian. We're always happy to help. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed a quick tour of another great Hein Online collection. As with this database and all our resources, we wish you happy searching.